popular struggles and movements in this topic we shall learn about movement groups and their influence movement groups as the case of interest groups the groups involved with movements also include a very wide variety the nepalese movement for democracy arose with the specific objective of reversing the king's order that led to suspension of democracy in india narmada bachav andolan is a good example of this kind of movement the movement started with the specific issue of the people displaced by the creation of sardar sarovar dam on the narmada river the environmental movements and the women's movement are examples of such movements there is no single organization that control or guides such movements environmental movement is a label for a large number of organization and issue specific movements all of these have separate organization independent leadership and often different views on policy related matters but all of these share a broad objective and have a similar approach that is why they are called a movement sometimes these broad movements have a loose umbrella organization as well for example the national alliance for people's movement napm is an organization of organizations various movements groups struggling on specific issues are constituents of this loose organization which coordinates the activities of a large number of people's movement in our country how do they influence politics pressure groups and movements exert influence on politics in a variety of ways they try to gain public support and sympathy for their goals and their activities by carrying out information campaigns organizing meetings filling petitions etc they often organize protest activity like strikes or disrupting government programs workers organization employees association and most of the movement groups often resort to these tactics in order to force the government to take note of their demands business groups often employ professional lobbyists or sponsor expensive advertisement some persons from pressure groups or movement groups may participate in the official bodies and committees they offer advice to the government while interest groups and movements do not directly engage in party politics they seek to exert influence on political parties in some instances the pressure groups are either formed or led by the leaders of political parties or act as extended arms of political parties for example most trade unions and students organizations in india are either established by or affiliated to one or the other major political party most of the leaders of such pressure groups are usually activists and leaders of the party sometimes political parties grow out of movements summary in this lesson we learned about 2006 democracy movement in nepal loktantrik andolan the bolivia's water war pressure groups and movements that is all in this topic learning is fun keep learning students